Hello YouTube, this is Chris Gumbix from Services. Today's video is going to be a smoking gun. I mean, all the other Bible verses that I've given about Jesus isn't God. Uh, a smoking gun that Jesus isn't God. He clearly says who he is. Um, I mean, he was pretty clear on who he was before. I mean, and I pointed it out, you know, like sitting at the right hand of with his father. You can't sit at the right hand of yourself. Um, that Jesus is made subject to God. Everything is given back to God. He cannot be God if that's if that's the case. Um, if Jesus is the Son of God and He is our Messiah and He died for our sins and He was without sin, that means He can't lie. He has to tell the truth. He has to be accurate in His statements. Um, you know, and I've proven. And multiple videos, but the one that I, I got one that's about the Trinity, that's a Catholic um, doctrine that literally backs, does not back, I've made actually a couple videos on it, and one even themselves saying there's no scripture that backs up the Trinity, which is the only thing that says Jesus is God. The Bible itself does not, because if, if Jesus was saying he was God, and he ascended back to God, this is what you would get, because God's not going to share his throne with anybody, his actual throne, not not Jesus' throne that's on the side, his right side, but his actual throne is not going to share with anybody. So if Jesus was God, you would get one being, one entity on the throne, okay? If Jesus lied at all, then none of his statements are true about being the Son of God and the Messiah and... Um, he, he couldn't be lead, leading by example and telling us not to sin and, and and telling us not to do certain things and not to lie and, and, not, and, and, and all these other things. He couldn't tell us those things because he's doing them himself. Um, and that's what uh, part of the video. Uh, these three are um, the Bible verses we're going to talk about. These three are not. Um, and these up here, they're going to be probably a part one, part two, part three. It's exposing more of NASA's uh, double lies. Uh, besides their height in the biblical flat earth, uh, they work for the CIA and different government agencies like that and literally have uh, laser weapon or not laser weapon. Well, I'm sure they have laser weapons now. But at the time when that document was written, um, they were uh, other weapons that are in our sky. So stay tuned for that one. But anyway, let's get back to this video here. Uh, so I like a lot of these pictures. You know, you got God and Jesus, the Holy Spirit, God, Jesus, um, the brothers and sisters of Christ, and God's sons and daughters, uh, God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit. You know, this is accurate. These are, you know, ones like these are accurate. See, even the Catholic Church tells you right in their, they tell the truth that's in the lies. They, they push the Trinity as being Jesus is God, which you would get this if he was. And then they tell you the truth in their illustrations. You know, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, which in the form of a dove, remember when Jesus got baptized, he came down in the form of a dove. So that's an accurate representation. Um, you know, this is, is, but isn't because children don't have wings. They're humans. Um, angels are not little. The Bible never says that we're going to have, uh, wings. That's angels. But, you know, it, you know, it, again, if Jesus was God, you would get stuff like this and, you know, you wouldn't get this. And this, to me, illustrates um, 1 John, the Word became flesh. The Word was with God. The Word was God. And the reason it says was he, the Word was God because everything God speaks, everything God does is his Word. So the Word is was with God, and he, which would be Jesus, was with God in the beginning. So I, I like that illustration. And there's God's Holy Spirit. Which would make sense of it in, in the book of Genesis, it hovering, God's Holy Spirit hovering over the water. Um, 
you know, and it goes on and on and on. I mean, I like a lot of these pictures. Some of them I don't like because it shows it teaches the Trinity. <clears throat> you know, I, these are the God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, angel, angel, and then all the the saints. I mean, you see what I'm saying? Like that, the the Trinity doesn't make sense if if, if Jesus is sitting at the right hand of God. You know. So let's go ahead and move on to the Bible verse that I've used. I, I remember it always being there. So no, it's not a Mandela effect. And I've, I've even used it many, 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 many years ago in my very first video I did about Jesus is in God. Um, go check that out. Go check out my Trinity uh, video. Um, should Christians believe in the Trinity, which is the only thing scripture itself doesn't support um, the Trinity, and then my other video where the Catholic Church admits that um, in their own documents and that it's made up by them. They literally think they're God, people. I mean, think about it. Um, they say you have to listen to everything they say, everything they do, everything that they, uh, even if it doesn't match Scripture, they even changed the Sabbath day, which I made a video about that. Um, and they literally call their leaders or you know, the Holy Father. There's only one Holy Father, Jesus said. And that's the, you know, when he was going on in front of the rabbis, not to call any man father, not to call any man rabbi, not to call any man teacher, uh, stuff of that nature. It was in a, uh, in a religious sense. You know, it, he wasn't contradicting, contradicting God saying, honor your father and your mother in the Old Testament uh, and say like the um, uh, Ten Commandments. God, Jesus doesn't contradict God, okay, his father. Uh, so it was in the religious context because that's what the, he, if he, that verse was talking about. And he was talking directly to the rabbis. But yet the, whole, the church, the Catholic church calls their leaders holy father. So they're, they're, they're saying that or they are God because even Jesus said, I didn't come to change anything. I, just, I come to fulfill what my father said. But the Catholic Church thinks they can change things. So they're putting themselves above Jesus, the Son of God, and above God. And they say, if you don't listen to us, you're bound to hellfire. You can't question anything we say, or you're bound to hellfire. They're putting themselves over God. And they're going to have to pay for that. But anyway, so let's get on to the Bible verses. So, and I think I said at the beginning of this video, these uh, three here... Um, are about uh, unf if unforgiving sin and are, are we required to, you know, forgive people of their sins even if they don't ask for forgiveness. And, and it's very dangerous. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about. Unforgiveness sin or unforgiving people of their sin. Not forgiving, I should say, people of their sin. Um, unforgiving uh, is, is, is very dangerous to your soul. Very, very dangerous. So you're going to want to stay, up, or stay in tune for that video and then my other NASA videos that I got, got, got coming up. So anyway, let's get on to the verse. John 20, 17. Jesus said, so this is Jesus' words, and they're also in the red. So yeah, do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to, my father, or to the Father. Again, he's saying he's not God. Go instead to my brothers. Again, saying he's not God, because if he was God, he would say my, my children. And tell them, I am ascending to my father and your father. Again, very clearly saying he's not God. But this is the part right here. To my God and your God. If Jesus was God, he would not utter those words. He would not say to my God and your God. This is not a disciple. This is not a prophet. This is not uh, a rabbi. This is not anybody. This is Jesus himself, the son of God, saying to my God and your God. For him to make that statement, he's very clearly telling you he is not God. Because if he was God, he wouldn't have a God. And I know I'm going to hear people say, well, that's the NIV. That's not the King James. Because I know there's still a lot of King James believers out there. Um, the King James only believers. So go to the King James. And if you've got your Bible, get your Bibles out and read these for yourself. John 20, verse 17. Jesus said unto, uh, unto her, touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my father. 
but go to my ch brethren and say unto them i ascend to my unto my father and your father and to my god and your god how could he make that statement not lie the bible says he was without sin which means he didn't lie let's move on let's even check the new king james version and see what it says Jesus said unto her, Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to my father, but go go tell my brethren, and say to them, I'm ascending to my father and your father, and to my God and your God. So again, how could he make that statement to his God if he was God? Because, I mean, if you're God, you don't have a God above you. If you're the God of the Bible, you have no God above you. You are God. So why would he be saying my God and your God if he is God himself? That is impossible. So, again, I touched on this in, in my very first video that I did about Jesus isn't God. I know for a fact this is not a Mandela effect. I know for a fact it's not uh, a, a new translation issue because it's in my 1999 Bible that I got when I got baptized. Um... You don't ever hear people, I've never heard anybody that teaches the Trinity talk about this verse, ever. If you have, that's that's cool. But it also not cool because if you've seen this verse or heard this verse, how do you still believe Jesus is God? How do you still believe in the Trinity? I'll tell you how. Because when you get brainwashed, and we've all been there, I've been brainwashed. I used to believe, say, like in the, the ball earth, NASA's model, the devil model. I used to believe in that. And through my research and having to let go of my pride and humble myself before God, as the Bible says to do, and before his son Jesus, and take his word literally. Uh, then I started to see the truth. But it was hard for me because it's hard to see the truth when you've been brainwashed for so long, especially when it's by people that you look up to and that you love, love and care for. Your moms, your dads, your aunts, your uncles, your pastors your teachers at school you know some a lot of them mean well some don't some are wool to sheep clothing and they know they're misleading and misguiding you so it's very hard to get unplugged out of that system the matrix of lies as i call it which i need to get speaking of that i need to get more cards made because i haven't had cards in a while um to be able to pass out to people but um so, you know, humble yourself before God. Ask God for the truth. Ask God to guide you through his son, Jesus, through the blood of Christ. You know, saying Jesus isn't God isn't taking away his authority. Saying Jesus isn't God isn't lessening his deity. That's a false side doctrine of the devil. That, that's, that, that mixes with the Trinity, which I've proven the Catholic Church made that up. Go watch my videos that I made about that. He clearly said, my father gave me all power and authority until, you know, uh, on heaven and on earth. And, and then later on in the Bible, it, it says, you know, I've shown this Bible verse where it says, uh, the end will come when Jesus gives back everything back to God and is made subject to God. And when we say subject to God, it's clear we're saying not God himself. So, I mean, clearly Jesus is a God. Um. And he's, you know, saying that, you know, that's when the end will come. So until then, Jesus has all power and authority. Until he gives it back to God when it's time for the second coming. So, I mean, I don't know how much clearer it can be. My God and your God. And this is red words and it literally says, Jesus said to her. So this is not a disciple, it's not a prophet, it's not um, me misreading scripture, as I've been told by quite a few people that, that like to write books in my, my comments and belittle me and put me down and threaten me and make fun of me and call me all kinds of names and everything else about the biblical flat earth and Jesus isn't God and the Trinity spake and all that. Oh, and, and before I get off here, if uh, you're afraid to make comments in my in my comments because... 
uh, people are coming after you that you know because I that's I haven't blocked a whole lot of people in my life since I've been on YouTube and I was I've been around YouTube since it first started doing videos um, don't be uh, if I see them messing with you I will block them um, if they're being rude and disrespectful and and calling you names and threatening you and you know stuff they do to me um, which I've seen and that's one reason I blocked a couple uh, a channel um, besides what he was saying he didn't want to he was just wanting to argue with me he didn't want to debate anything he didn't want to talk to me about it um, he was calling me names and and uh, different things like that and uh, ridiculing me and making fun of me and, and telling me I was a, uh, pretty much a pagan and all kinds of stuff and at a certain point I couldn't deal with it anymore and he didn't want to hear anything I had to say he was he was twisting scripture to try to fit what he believes the Trinity um, and he started going after people in my comments and so I blocked him and I, I, I had to block a couple people and one of them was going at me wasn't going at anybody in my comments yet but he was going at me so I blocked him as well I don't want to do that I don't want to block you I I've always tried to have an open mic and let you say what you feel and believe and um, debate me and and uh, stuff like that and, and you know I've got another video coming up or Maybe even a live stream. Um, there's somebody that lives here local with me um, that's asked me. Um, he wants to do a video with me and or live stream um, and ask questions about things that I believe and why I believe them and and uh, talk to me about it on a live stream. And I, I've got no problem with that. And I tell him, yeah, I got no problem with that. <clears throat> so that may be an upcoming video or, or, or live stream. Um, but yeah. Um, if you're afraid of people attacking you and that's why you're not because I used to have people comment to me all the time and now it, ones that I know personally and became friends with they'll message me in, in private most of the time um, or they'll just do emojis in the comments they won't actually say anything um, be, I, and I believe they're afraid be, they'll be attacked and they don't want to deal with that drama and so they just don't comment um, if you see so, if, if somebody's attacking you in the comments in our community and you don't and I don't see it, let me know, um, and I will address it. It is my channel and my responsibility, but don't ever be afraid to make comments in my videos, even if you disagree with me. Um, I'm open to debate. I'm open to listening to what you think and what feel and believe and your evidence, um, if, it, if it's against mine, but don't come at me sideways and rude and disrespectful and call me names and threatening my life and tell me to drink bleach and threatening my family's life and then attacking people in my community because that will be a no-go. Um, that's when your mic will be disconnected and shut off. That's when you'll be blocked. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get off here leave it at that because I've got so many videos I got to make. Uh, I mean, like I said, the NASA video, that, that's probably going to be a like a, a, a three or four part video because there's CI dump files. And there, some of the files are super, super long, but it's it's just another thing the devil's using NASA for besides hiding the biblical flat earth. And uh, part of that is weapons in space. Um, you know, years ago, I found a document I made a video about, you know, that, about Boeing and Boeing making the shuttles. And I can't find that document again um, on the CIA.gov. There are dump files. But I, I have found website uh, websites that, from Boeing where they admit they're making the shuttles and I couldn't figure out why it made no sense. If they're going to space, why would they outsource to, to Boeing? Because Boeing doesn't know anything about space, the space NASA claims. They only know about airplanes. So that's, you know, part of, um, of what's going to be in those videos. And then I've got another video about, like I said, the unforgiveness and how that's very dangerous to your soul. Um, so keep a lookout for that video and then the video and or live stream. Um, he, he works at a, a local fast trip here and uh, he believes a lot like I believe. And uh, there's things that he doesn't necessarily agree with. And those are the things he wants to talk to me about. And, and I've got no problem with that. So he, you know, like I guess I keep an eye out for that. But I'm going to get up here and I just wanted to throw those things in there at the end. Um, I know I kind of talked about some of them at the beginning, but I'm going to get out here. Like I said, use all the links about me section, rate, comment, subscribe, much love, God bless, and I will see you on the next one.